Thank you, Zach. Will there be any relative motion between the femurs and whole pelvis, or do we lock the hip, hip joint as a whole and only work relatively within the pelvis? No, you're, you're definitely gonna have some, some femoral motions along with that, just because the muscles that move the pelvis also move the femurs. If we use the left rotation example, even though I'm ERing, I in theory should have a relative internal rotation in the backswing, and then I'm gonna have external rotation happen um, in mid and late in that sense. So yeah, you will have femur movements as well. Whew. Empowered performance PT, the questions, y'all are killing it. Juiced up is all hell because of it. When an anominate rotates externally on a fixed femur, the femur is internally oriented relative to the anominate. Is this considered hip ER or IR? It would be pelvic ER, and then if the femur is in this position, it's gonna be femoral IR, at least that's how I would think of it. Or the fem femur would be internally rotating. Um, it just depends, in terms of what the total motion is gonna be, it depends on what I'm getting more relative motion of the, the uh, SI joint or the, the pelvis versus the femur.